This module covers the five forms of entrapment so you can recognize and address each of these hazards during an inspection. Entrapment hazards and their mitigation strategies are often misunderstood. So even if you think you're already familiar with this topic, please take the time to review this section. Each form of entrapment has different underlying physical causes and physiological effects. Unless you successfully protect against all five forms, a hazard may still exist. The most common form of entrapment is hair entrapment. When hair gets caught in excessive water flow through the suction outlet, it can get tangled, ensnaring the bather who can subsequently drown. Hair entrapment can be especially dangerous in a spa because there's typically a lot of water flow to support the jets and bathers are always in close proximity to the suction outlets. Only a suction outlet cover tested to the latest ASME A112 19.8 2007 standard will protect against hair entrapment. There are no backups. Many states limit the velocity through the suction outlet to 1.5 feet per second, but there's no guarantee that this makes the outlet safe. The cover must be installed properly and the listed flow rate on that cover cannot be exceeded. Body or torso entrapment is the most understood form of entrapment. It is caused when suction from a large covered or uncovered sump comes in contact with and holds in place the stomach, chest, hips, or other large area of the body. This kind of entrapment can be prevented by the use of a secondary device such as dual drains, an SVRS, a vacuum limiting vent, an automatic pump shutoff, or a gravity drainage system. Also, a single unblockable suction outlet can protect against body entrapment. It can also be addressed through drain disablement, which completely removes the hazard from the pool. Limb entrapment occurs when a hand, arm, foot, or leg is inserted into an open pipe, typically an uncovered suction port. It happens in an instant, and once the limb is stuck, the only way to remove the pipe is through a surgical procedure. It can even happen in drain pools with the pump off. There are no guarantees a secondary device will offer any protection with limb entrapment, but one should be in place if needed. Make sure the suction outlet fitting cover is installed correctly and not damaged. Also, be sure to check any sidewall vacuum and equalizer fittings to make sure they are properly covered when the pool or spa is in use. Evisceration or disembowelment is the most horrific form of entrapment. It happens when a victim, usually a small child, sits on an uncovered suction port or one with a broken cover. Evisceration can be fatal and although there are no backups for an evisceration, a secondary device may help to reduce the length of time the suction is active. Finally, there's mechanical entrapment. This category was derived from the epidemiological investigations of reported entrapments that didn't fit into one of the other four forms. Examples include fingers, jewelry, and ornamental accessories that get caught in suction fittings. You should be aware that these types of entrapments can occur. Now that you've seen the five basic forms of entrapment and their different mitigation strategies, we hope you'll realize that this is a complicated problem. Some of the most dangerous forms of entrapment aren't caused by suction, so effective solutions may involve more than multiple outlets or breaking the vacuum. Most importantly, if a drain cover is broken, loose, crack, or missing, please shut down the pool or spa until a repair is made, because an uncovered, unmaintained, or improperly installed suction outlet is never safe.